Welcome back, y'all. Making sure you're still motivated. We're still moving. Keep your eye on the prize. Let's not forget. Man, you'll never hear me stop saying that. Let's keep our eye on the prize and let's keep moving. Let's remember why we're doing this. So in this video, though, things are going to be a little bit exciting. We're actually going to be pretty close to having our uh, first, like, really functional app. I mean, like, the last app that we did was pretty cool. Um, obviously, it's that Hello World thing. But, like, this is going to be really cool. And I hope that you're really proud of this when we're done because you're going to have something you can show your friends and your family and um, this is like a real legit app and by the end of this video, we're gonna be really really close to being done with it So let's go ahead and jump in uh, I guess you know, you can stop listening to me just waste my breath here You just want to write code and that's why you bought this course in the first place. So let's do it um, So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to want to pick a random button and then pick three color uh, Values one for red one for green and one for blue and then we're going to want to assign that to it. So to do that, let's open up this view controller class. Don't think that we're really going to need much more of the... Oh, actually, I'm missing like the most important part here. Uh, before we actually move into that, let's go ahead and add those three labels up to the top here. We need a red, a green, and a blue so we know what we're actually looking for. Um, so let's go ahead and add the first label here. I'm going to close the assistant editor again. Um, and I'm going to make this 40 pixels from the top, 20 from the left, and 20 from the right. And let's add those three constraints. And this is going to say red. And when we start, let's just put a zero there just for like a placeholder so we can just kind of see what it looks like. And uh, let's align that centered. And let's make this bold. Let's make it 18 font. And yeah, that looks good. And then let's go ahead and make it red. Um, obviously for red, like it says in the design. And then uh, let's go to the label. Let's go to the second label. And let's make this 10 from there, 20, 20. Or 10 from the top, which would be this red thing right here since it's sitting under the red label. So 10 from that, 20 from the left, 20 from the right. And let's also center that. Let's also make that 18 font. Let's also make that bold. And then let's make this uh, blue. And we're gonna put blue, zero. And then lastly, we need to do the green one. So we're gonna put the next label right here. And we're going to make that 10 from the blue label, 2020. Uh, add those three constraints. We're going to center that. We're going to make it system green. We're going to make it bold. And we're going to make it 18 point font. And then lastly, we're going to put green, zero, boom. Okay, cool. So now we got the layout kind of looking correct. Now let's go ahead and connect these three labels as IB outlets into the view controller. That way we can actually um, set their uh value once we get it um figured out down here in the new game function so let's go ahead and control drag and we're going to put red label we're going to do blue label hopefully you're starting to get the hang of this right here connecting these outlets and actions so we got red label blue label and green label oh man i cannot type green label got it cool Okay, so now uh, I'm going to open up the view controller class and close the storyboard because we're not going to need that now at this point. So um, basically the first thing that we're going to want to do is pick a random element from the uh, buttons array as so that that can be our correct button. So um, Swift actually, or uh, Apple's UI, or no, I think it's in foundation. doesn't matter. We've got access to a really cool function called just random element. Uh, believe it or not, this is actually pretty cool and unique to iOS development and other uh, like maybe I think you could do this in Kotlin as well if you're working on Android doesn't matter I'm just rambling here. We're gonna do uh, if let uh, correct button Equal uh, buttons dot random element um, And we're gonna open that up here so random element if you could see was a UI button optional, which is why we have to unwrap it by saying if let correct button equal buttons dot random element. And you might be thinking like, well, what was so special about that? What were you talking about? Well, what we used to have to do in the early days of programming is we used to like buttons as an array. So we'd have to access a random number. So we'd have to generate a random integer between zero and the length of the array. And then we'd have to do it like you know, like two or, or three or what, whatever the random number was that we generated. Luckily, uh, we've just got access to this handy little random element function right here. So that just kind of does all that work for us. So anyways, now that we've got the correct button out of the uh, buttons, we are going to pick a red color, a green color, and a blue color. Um, and more specifically, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a value between 
uh, 0 and 1. So we're going to say let red equals cg float dot random. And we're going to do 0 dot 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 1. So we're basically going to do the same thing that we did up here. But there's a very specific reason why we're putting this in a constant this time. So we're going to create a constant for red, blue, and green. So I'm going to say blue and green. And so now we've got a random red color, a random blue uh, or not color, a random red CG float, a random blue CG float value, and a random green CG float value. And then now what we're going to want to do is set those labels based on these numbers. But you'll remember in the game that I was showing you, it gives you, it shows you the red, green, and blue value as a number between 0 and 255, which is pretty standard. That's the way that it's, you know, it makes it a little bit easier to look at than something between 0 and 1. So we're going to do a little bit of math to make that happen. So we're going to say red label dot text equals and then we're going to do that string interpolation and we're going to say red and then we're going to do int and we're going to pass in that red value and we're going to multiply it by 255 so basically what that's going to do is let's say the random red value that we get here is 0 0.5 so it's going to put red remember this is like an interpolated string we're gonna cast the value of red times 255 to an integer. So if red was 0 0.5, it would be 0 0.5 times 255, uh, which would be, what would that be? 127.5. And then it's going to cast that as an integer, which would you know round down to 127. So that's what we would get here for the red value. So we're gonna do this for each of them. We're gonna do red. We're gonna do green and we're gonna do blue label. So we'll do red, or I think we did blue, we're doing them out of order here. Red, blue, and green label. And then we're gonna put, instead of red here, we'll put blue. Instead of red here, we'll put green. And then this would obviously be blue times 255 and this would be green times 255. So before we actually do anything else, uh, we're actually, it's saying we're not using the correct button yet, and that's correct. Um, but let's go ahead and run to make sure that we're getting some random RGB value at the top. And we are. So the, again, we haven't actually done anything with the correct button or the random element or whatever, but we are getting its value and it is popping up up here. And if we keep tapping start game, we're going to see that it's generating this new red, green, blue value every single time. So that's pretty cool. Um, but now we actually need to assign that to the correct button. So the next thing that we're going to do down here is we're going to say correct button dot background color equals, and we're going to do that same UI color thing again. And we're going to make sure that we pick the red, green, blue alpha initializer here. And let's do the thing that we did before, which was uh, drop these down to new line. So it's a little bit easier to look at. And this time, instead of assigning some random number like we did up here, just inline, we already have that random number. It's this red uh, property right here. So we're going to put red. Right here, we're going to put green. Right here, we're going to put blue. And right here, we're going to put one. And just to clean things up, I just realized that I've been putting red, blue, green instead of red, green, blue. It really doesn't matter. But just to make things like make a little bit more sense, I'm just going to reorder this real quick. Cool, so now I've got red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, whatever. Everything looks a little bit better now. So now if we click the play button, we're going to see that uh, we've got this red, blue, and green value, and one of these is correct. Um, if I had my guess, I'm going to say it's probably this one, but these ones are pretty close, so who knows. But right now, it doesn't matter if I click any of these buttons, nothing happens because we don't have any game logic to tell you whether or not you were correct or incorrect. So we kind of need to get that going. <clears throat> I think though we're going to pause this video. We're going to pick up in the next video. This is a good stopping point, but we're getting really close. In the next video, we will actually uh, determine which one the correct one is. And if you tap on it, it's going to say correct or incorrect. I will see you in the next video.